This here episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Domain.com. What's up everyone? John Ranger from Techno Buffalo here. Are you sick of all the Apple news? You sick of Apple Watch video after Apple Watch video? You friend, I got something for your Android love and soul. I am leaving in just a few short weeks to go to Google I.O. Traditionally, we see a ton of new stuff happen. So I figured, let me give you the top four things I expect from Google I.O. Not listed on here is between a butt ton and an ass ton of APIs for everything. That's usually what like 90% of the keynote is about. 10% is kind of the, the sexy fun stuff. And that's really what I'm gonna talk about. So number one, no particular order, Android M. Android Marshmallow? Android Marmalade? Who knows, but here's what I expect it to have. But again, in addition to just a ton of APIs. Interactive notifications. Uh, notifications got way better in Lollipop. Being able to interact with them, uh, reply to a Twitter notification, for example, right from a lock screen, uh, I think we're going to see built. And before everybody yells at me that rooting, you can root, custom ROM, custom ROM, I, I know that. Here's what I can expect from Android or for Google to release on stock uh, Android. Way more Google Now integration. This is where the APIs I think are actually really cool, uh, allowing third parties to access Google Now. I'm a huge, huge Google Now user. I use it on iOS, I use it on Android, uh, and it's incredibly useful, but letting more third party applications take advantage of it, I think will take it to the proverbial next level. Uh, so smart gesture is the next thing. Uh, I think it's gonna start taking things from the skins that we've seen. So perhaps from LG, double tap to wake up. From Samsung, wave your hand over it to not only end a phone call, but also take a screenshot. And hopefully a slew of other smart and awesome gestures. Uh, ultra power saving mode. We've seen that on a lot of the skins or custom UIs, whatever you want to call them. But I think we're going to see that baked in. And I've been hoping for this one for many years. This one's just soft spot in my heart. Uh, an elegant backup and restore option. Please, let me make it easier to move from Android phone to Android phone. I'd really, really, truly, genuinely appreciate that. Also hoping for things like built-in visual voicemail would also be super nice uh, to have baked in. And this is another thing that I hope for every year, uh, but let the skins sit on top of Android instead of being baked into Android. So perhaps, and I know I'm living in dreamland, if you want to download TouchWiz, you can download TouchWiz. If you want to download LG Skin, you can download LG Skin. That would make updates a lot more seamless. They'd filter out to phones uh, a lot quicker, but I know that that is just a pipe dream. Number two, more watches. Lots and lots of more watches. There'll be a ton of Android Wear updates. Not so sure we're gonna see the next version of Android Wear since we kind of just saw that. Uh, that's now out currently on the LG Watch Urbane. I think we're gonna see little screenshots of what we might see uh, for Android Wear running Android M. Uh, for hardware side, I think it's gonna be highlighted by the Moto 362, which I think is what they're gonna give away to attendees. Coming in at number three, your favorite product you love to hate. Release information on Google Glass. The first Explorer edition has come and gone. We've been hearing a lot of grumblings that Google Glass was dead, and then no, Google Glass is back, and no, they're getting close to releasing a final version. You're gonna hear more information what the final version is going to be, whether or not Glass is completely dead, or more likely, here's what it's going to look like, here's how you can get it. No more Explorer edition, no more beta, here's what Google Glass does. Um, things have changed since Google Glass was first announced. Things like Microsoft HoloLens um, are bringing a ton more to the field than having a tiny screen over your eye ever did. So I think we're gonna see a completely redesign of Glass. If you've got that idea for a new website you want to start, you've been itching to start ronontheshower.org, domain.com has you covered. It's a place to go when the next great idea hits you. It's a one-stop shopping for all of your domain, web hosting, and email needs. Plus, the list of extensions are growing like crazy, so you can now have not just .com, you could have .ninja, .nyc, .website, or a ton more. Our friends at domain.com want to hook you up with a great offer. Save 20% on domain names and web hosting when you use coupon code TECHNOBUFFALO, all capital letters, one word, at domain.com's checkout. When you think domain names, think domain.com. And last but not least, this one makes me very sad. The formal death of the GPE edition phones. That's Google Play edition. It was a fun experiment if you wanted a Galaxy S4, for example, but you didn't want the bloated touches at the time you could get one. If you wanted HTC One M8 without sense, you could do it. It was a beautiful thing. And like most beautiful things, they eventually wilt and die. And I am very sad to say that. Uh, but happy that I'm not saying that the yeah, Nexus line is dead, like I said last year. That certainly stayed. Uh, but I do think GPE is a thing of the past. I know you guys are gonna be bummed about it too. I, I certainly 
uh, M. Those are my four thoughts and things we're going to expect from Google I.O. I'm sure it's going to be a ton more. What do you guys want to see? What do you want to have happen? Tell me. And if it happens, I will share it with you because I will be there snapping pictures, filming videos, and just overall being a little bit silly with my developer friends. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please give the video a thumbs up. We always appreciate it. And of course, hit the big subscribe button. Uh, check out the latest content from Techno Buffalo. See you guys in the next one.